Hey, how's it going? And welcome to the very first episode of Necromunda Hired Gun. Now, I don't know anything about this game. However, from what I've seen, it's essentially, uh, or from what I've been able to gather, it's essentially just Doom set in the world of Warhammer 40k, and, you know, I love both those things, so I figured why not give this a try. So let's jump into this, and we'll see. I'm gonna start this from the very beginning. That was a test save, uh, because I had to test this to make sure it would actually, like, record right, so, um, but no worries, I'm still going into this blind, I skipped everything, I just tried to test the game and stuff, so, I don't, I still don't actually know anything about it, but the it looked interesting. Run the Underhive. Without the merchant's guild, there's no order to life down here, no one to stop things unraveling completely. You're thinking, there's no order down here anyway, but you just don't see it. Order is what every ganger down here is looking for, just an order they can change. One where they can get to be top dog, the big boss man. Not just a pro laboring away, toiling for house, hive, and throne. Order down here is different. Nobody wants the Enforcers, or worse, coming down here, trying to make things the way they are up in Hive City. So we all follow the Gilder's rules. Without them... Sorry, my mouse keeps going on screen. Down. No one kills a Gilder unless they're truly dangerous or truly desperate. And the truly desperate are the most dangerous of all. That's why I think we can help each other out. We're going to earn ourselves that bounty for taking down whoever killed Maro Virax, and we're going to put things back the way they should be. You see, we're agents of order, the likes of us. Even if we do get to sow a little strife along the way. You in? Trust me. What a great intro. A member of the Merchants Guild has been murdered, and there's a huge bounty on the outlaw responsible. You and two fellow hired guns are in pursuit of the outlaw and believe you know where to find them. Attack in concert to capture the outlaw and claim the bounty. Alright. But yeah, like I say, I I only played a little bit of this to test it, but I have no I didn't even watch that intro scene, so I have no idea what the fuck is going on here yet. Uh, please confirm your identity. Let's see, who do we want to play as? Um. I'm gonna go with this guy. Er, well, should I go with this or automatic? I'll just pick this guy. Whatever, why not? And we'll go normal, because... Again, why not? Hey guys, how's it going? This is it. Yeah. You sure? Positive. Does the voice the change depending on the character you pick? You sure about this? Sure they're in there or oh, sure? I'm just Jason Statham in a mask basically. It's just a few ashes. And then payday. And Whatever then, you say, guys. Oh my god, my dog is freaking out. God, I love the aesthetic of Warhammer 40k. It's so good. Look at that. That's so fucking cool. You two. This level. I'm heading down. Yeah, whatever you say, guys. Yeah. Okay. This is it. Let's go. Was that my arm? 
They have a little, like, robotic twig arm? What was that? I can see the sentries. Wait until I'm on the ground. Then take out as many as you can. Let them know this around. Oh my god. I think that statue almost fell on me. Hey, buddy. I love this dog already. All right, let's Let get into this. Begin. What does this do? Oh, buy stims, restart mission, back to HQ. Uh, I don't really need to do any of that, so let's just continue on. You will see dome runner beacons during your mission. Missions, they indicate the most used path, so follow them to find your way in the underhive. Gotcha. So this is Asher territory. Luckily, I did do this tutorial already, so I know how to play the game. I just don't know what the actual story is. It's time to negotiate. Open this rust damn door! Aren't I the best negotiator you've ever seen? God, this is so fucked up looking. I'm in. Let's do it. See you at the prize. Just the fact that he opens shit like that is hilarious to me. Um, uh, gotcha. Get fucked. I'm past the first sentry. It's coming in from the north. You see anything yet? Plenty. Keep going. God, the executions in this game are kind of brutal. And I love that the fact that you can actually sick your mastiff on people is hilarious. That's him. Bring him to me. <laughs> Look at that. My puppy strong. Lato! Was that you? Where are you? Third level. There's someone else down here, and it ain't no Escher. Um, That's not me. Stay alert. What the fuck? Is this just this gun, but with like a scope, basically? I'll stick to my machine gun, thanks. Yeah, rain those sparks down on me, baby. Oh my god, I'm missing all my shots. I wonder what happens if I make it down there. There's that dude music kicking in. Wow, I hit her in midair too. Oh my god, my aim is atrocious. The only thing that I really don't like about how this game controls for the most part is you can see like how free my movement is aiming here and then how bad it is there. It like limits my movement a lot when you aim down your sights, which in my opinion probably shouldn't be happening. 
but I don't know if there's like an option to fix that or anything. There we go. I'm getting close. Hurry! I don't like this. Why is everybody British? We've got Oh, come on. My aim's so bad it feels like I'm playing Apex right now or something. Oh, fucking Goku hair? What the fuck? That lady had straight up Goku hair. Is that everybody? Oh my god. Jesus. Thanks for the help. Ooh. I'm lucky I got her there. Well, one of them's dead already. Fatal. Fatal. What the fuck kind of name is that? Lexo. What the hell's going on? I heard. I'm on my way. My teammates suck. My God. There we go. Jesus, I'm trying, man. You can't handle a few, Asha. What's going on, Leto? I got no more health either. No more health? I got no more medkits. Go to hell! I mean it. Who's the shadow? Down! Leto! Leto! <sighs> Should have done this alone. Knew it. Always work alone. I mean, yeah, I literally sound like Jason Statham. Let the fruit have a little fun. These guys are called brutes? Oh my god, did he just throw like a hunk of meat on me that was on- at me that was on fire? I can't even talk, my brain is not working. That man deserves to die, he was trying to harm my- my little dog. Jesus. Get fucked. That one scared me a little bit, I'm not even gonna lie. Oh god, I walked right off that fucking cliff. I'm so dumb. God, my aim is so bad. 
What is it with me today? Oh, finally, man. <laughs> the beginning of this game is kicking my ass all of a sudden. I barely just started. I'm almost surprised I haven't died already. Looks like you chose the wrong side, scum. Where did you ever think this was going to get you? Who is this? Does he look like either of the people I started the mission with? Because I kind of forgot already what they looked like. I have no idea if I got, like, betrayed or something. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Uh... Cool. I don't know if I need any of these things, though. Um. Yeah, I guess that's good. I don't know if I need anything. The non-transferred loot will be sold. Sure. I don't know what I need and don't need yet. That's nah, not too bad. Martyr's End is the largest settlement in this part of the Underhive. Centered on the ruins of an ancient imperial shrine and situated between several ruined indus industrial domes prized by the gangs of House Orlock and House Goliath. The, settlements, the settlement is inhabited by an assortment of settlers and travelers, while prospectors, bounty hunters, and members of local Underhive gangs pass through, there, pass through in large numbers. As in all larger settlements, the guilders expect those who come to the Martyr's End to set aside their rivalries and abide by the rules of their underhive. Such as they are, surprisingly, it works for the most part. I figured I might as well read those, just so I know what's going on or whatever. Are you guys the ones that betrayed me? Or tried to harm me just now? Oh, you know me. Damn. Jericho. Where am I? Martyr's End. Martyr's End. Martyr's End. Beyond See, I haven't seen Torian's anything dome, past beyond the bad that first level. Delta 7. Far from where you want to be, I'll wager. But a better place than you'd be in otherwise, I can assure you. Better than I would be if I hadn't met you. I saved your life. Feels like you did a great job. I suppose it all depends on what you imagine being dead feels like. You seem keener than you should be on finding out. I guess you're not Enough wrong there. The riddle, Spire Boy. What happened? <laughs> There's time for all that later. You're gonna hurt yourself straining like that. Remember, you only just made it this far. I'm gonna leave you with my friend here. There's a watering hole right outside, the Blessed Temple, they call it. You can find me there when you're ready. Ready for what? That's the fun part. Finding out. Kinda like the setting here. Who are you? What is this place? I'm Malakachim. You may call me Malak. I'm a Malak, surgeon, okay. and this is my surgery. You're lucky to be here. Damn. A rogue dog. If you prefer. Yes. What did you do to me? Nothing I didn't have to. Well, maybe a little more than I had to. That's a most impressive set of bionics. 
They would have been a pleasure to work with, but for all the bleeding flesh getting in the way. Thanks. I'm sure there used to be more of it. Your friend is right. Cal Jericho. He's not my friend. Well, he was right. You should have died. It's only those bionics of yours that saved you. I guess it's good that I a picked a character damage. that's full of cybernetic a while implants or whatever. And a little while to get used to the changes. What? A few adjustments. An internal reservoir. A cerebral implant. What you happened to me? All improvements once you get used to them. A cerebral implant. Where the hell did that come from? From your friend, Cal Jericho. He's not my friend. Oh, I'd say he is now. These bionics, once you have healed, they will allow you to do incredible things. But there might be a few adjustments I need to make. Nothing works first time. Not when you're working with materials like these, anyway. You should come back and see me when you're ready to find out what you're really capable of. Okay. Um, health bonus. Haywire pulse. Um, I guess we'll buy this one. Sh sure. Yeah, good enough, I guess. You have some of my I don't know what I just spent money on. I would even use on myself. Thanks. Um, where do I go now? That way. What in Hey, buddy. This game's 10 out of 10. You can pet the dog. What'll it be? Wild snake? Don't know what that is. Oh, I got an achievement for petting the dog. That's great. Uh, this bartender, what's up with you? I don't want any problems with the enforcers. So what's no up, Hannibal Lecter? Folks are starting to clear out. This gang war needs to simmer down. Show me what you can do for me. That sounded a bit like he was hitting on her. I'm not even gonna lie. So what is this, like, outfits? Okay. Um. Let's see. Well, I don't really have a preference, so I guess I'll just switch it up sometimes. So I'll just keep, I'll go down the line, why not? Those iron vipers think they've thrown in with some big brains. Well, we can shoot. Is this where I'm meant to go? The Gladiatorium? The Gladiatorium is an area where you can freely test your weapons. Try out your new module there. Okay. Press spacebar and then spacebar again. Oh, cool, I got a double jump. That was an easy test. Oh my god! I feel like I'm never hitting the shots that I should be hitting. I could just be making up this excuse though. Alright. So I guess that's our new module that we got. And I got the haywire pulse. Oh, we gotta go talk to her again. Hey Hannibal. Hey there. Wild snake. I like you. You must be able to read the sign. No. What does it say? <laughs> it says patrons only. Can he really not read? Need to worry about that. You figured or was it that right a joke? Out. You must be a psychic. But shh, I won't go telling anyone you're a mutie. 
Here you go. Wild Snake. How much? Your friends already got it covered. Palmore's teeth. What is this? He's not my friend. This man's Definitely so angry to have a friend. That might be the quickest I've seen anybody work that out. But either way, your drink is covered. You should go and see him. He's right over there. And hey, if you ever want to know what's really going on around here, come back and see me. Thanks. What's your name? Just call me the Wild Snake Priestess. I'm just gonna keep calling you Hannibal Lecter. What in the hell was name was she thinking? Talk to me. So, ready to talk? About I guess. How you nearly got me killed. About how I saved your life. And Batel and Leto. Well, were those people that I even knew? No. I knew they were. Maybe they were just like professional work buddies or something. Work alone. I should have stuck to that. Now, tell me, what happened up there? That Esher gang you wanted us to take down. There was someone else with them. Yes, I think so. Who? The one who killed Virax? Maybe. This guy's throwing I mean, a I lot of names so. at me that I don't recognize the all Black of a sudden. Serpents are working with an outlaw, a very dangerous outlaw, who seems to be calling himself the Silver Talon. Okay. You knew he was there? No, I didn't. Why the were you even there to pick me up anyway? Muscle. I figured they might give us a few leads. I didn't think whoever killed Virax would be crazy enough to still be hanging around here. So you thought you'd dangle some bait? No, nothing like that. Besides, you were quick enough to take me up on the deal. Maro and his brother specialize in archaeotech. Good stuff, too. And they control pretty much all the trade around here. His caravan was ambushed less than an hour from here, so I figured whoever was responsible would be long gone and far away by now. But it seems not. Meanwhile, there's a few gangs around here who have been trying to make a name for themselves, taking more risks than usual. The Black Serpents, those Escher you met earlier, and a couple of Orlock gangs, the Iron Vipers, the Scrap Jacks. So you think they're working for the Silver Talent too? I think they're being awfully bold, almost like someone wants them to make trouble. And since the Silver Talon is still around... And you think it's the Silver Talon who killed Virax? Or ordered it? Yes. Damn. Okay. I had a feeling there was something going on from another lead I was following. As soon as I found out, I came to warn you. But that's how I found you. Not is exactly it? Just I don't really time. believe you necessarily. I think? Mm. That cerebral implant. Where did that come from? I took it from the Black Serpents. Maybe they were just trying to sell it, or maybe it's something that you know who is looking for. Which is why it made so I guess much so. sense to put it in you. So I guess we'll find out, one way or the other. Saving my life just Is that your face killed. on a wanted poster behind you? Not my kind of deal. A shame, since it's the only one going. Then I'm out. Thanks for tipping me off about the Silver Talon. If I were a less generous man, I might suggest you're in my debt, you know. But I won't. Good, because I don't give a shit if I am. There's a fortune to be made for both of us. You won't get it on your own. On a bed. Oh, I'd wager. But if you lose, you'll have nothing left to give me anyway. So just don't forget, the offer's there. And you know where to find me. Okay. So he told me a lot of shit just then, and I'm not exactly sure if I believe, like, any of it. So? The two of you get everything straightened out? You might I say guess that. so. Listen. I'm looking for a little information. Shoot. The Iron Vipers. Heard of them? Orlocks. Yeah. Friends of yours? You not really. I used to know a few of them. You know where they hang out these days. I don't, but I know who might. Try the dome runner over there. Jado's his name. Um, okay. Who? Yeah, 
and they took it back from us. Too bad. Don't run. Jado. Yeah. What does that even mean? I'm looking for someone, Jado. They tell me you're the guy to help me find them. Oh, this is the guy I saw walk past us before, right? Who? They own vipers. Know them? Yeah, I do. I've been making a lot of noise around here lately. Know where I can find them? Not exactly. But I do know they made a move on the steel crocs. A Goliath gang a couple of days ago. They got lucky. Captured the crocs leader. Is that so? You know what they want with him? No, but they want something from him, all right. The crocs are out looking for him, so I hear the vipers are going to try and move him. There's so much more story in this game than I thought there was going to be. People just talking and talking forever. You know when and where? I can take a guess. You want me to show you? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Let me light the way. Think you can spot a phosphor beacon? What? Phosphor beacon. I mean, I guess so. Yeah. That shit just fell over. And disappeared? Where'd it go? Are you magic? Alright, I guess we gotta go pick our mission now. What in Helmore's name was she thinking? Okay. So this is how this works, huh? Continue campaign, wanted, dead or alive, the Silver Talon. Talon Knight Forcers, 250,000. Uh. Yeah, I guess. Select your loadout. I mean, do I even really get a choice? Oh, look at this. Uh. Okay. Interesting. Barrels. Get a short barrel. Better stock, maybe. Hmm. Uh, I'll leave this for another time, I think. I feel like I don't actually have enough... The Iron Vipers and Orlock Gang have captured Brickjaw, the leader of a powerful Goliath gang. The Iron Vipers are trying to move their hostage to Orlock territory using an old cargo train. But the Iron Vipers are in league with the Silver Talon. Messing with their plans might lead you to some useful information. Board the train and divert it to stop to safe to a safe stopping point away from Orlock territory. I don't know why my brain's just not working. But I've actually been recording for a little bit, so I'm going to actually leave this video off here, and then in the next one we'll pick off and we'll do this, we'll pick it up from where we left off and do this mission and stuff, so thanks for stopping by, I really appreciate it, and I hope I see you in the next video. Later.